so you can't be a jet. So you can't play one of the most mobile classes in the game. And... Yeah. Well, anyway, I'm going to tell you about the class anyway, even though you can't play it. Unless you've made one in the past. So on the beginner tab, you have a skill that returns you to this map specifically. Your link skill, I'm not even going to go over it because, again, the skill's getting removed. But you basically use these use items, or you can even go to the cash shop and buy them. Uh, and enhance the skill further. I think the max is like 35 attack and magic attack and whatever all stat. It's really good if you put the time to make it good. But again, class is getting removed. Um, the Legion effect is crit damage. I'm not even going to look for my... <laughs> Here it is, actually. Crit damage. So in first job, we have Starline 1. This will pretty much be your main mobbing seal uh, for quite a bit. Then we have Blaster Barrage. You're not really going to be using this. Spacewalk, which is your flash jump. It, If you don't hold a direction, you won't go anywhere. You just, you know, bounce in place. But if you hold a direction, the first one will send you uh, kind of far. But the second flash jump will send you flying. And this also works uh, vertically as well. And then we have some passives. This passive actually allows you to become one of the fastest walk speed characters in the game. Oh, and uh, you also get a buff. I, I forgot that you get a buff. Uh, pretty much booster. Gives you attack speed. So uh, I'm going to go do some mobbing real quick. As I mentioned, the flash jump goes very high. It also goes very far. But you do have to be holding a direction or else you don't go anywhere. Alright, as for the training, uh, this is me using the uh, rapid fire skill. The bullet or blaster barrage. No, it's whatever. You can use it. It's just... More likely you're going to be using the punch because it does more... Uh, more damage as well as the lines are really good. Especially for the attack speed. It's just... It's just better. It's just better to use it. And that's about it for the training. You just go around using... Uh, using the punch. Because again, it's really fast because you get booster in first job. It's also really strong. Uh, 135 three times and 170. So technically, you'll see higher lines with Blaster Barrage, but yeah. Anywho, let's move on to second job. In second job, you get Starline 2. This is uh, an actual upgrade to Starline 1. Although I think some people still use Starline 1 either way. But uh, yeah. Oh, and I guess I'll show what it looks like. Very quick. And then you also get Stellar Impact. This skill will be used all the way to level 300. This skill applies a debuff that gives you, or allows you to do 25% extra final damage to the, an enemy. This can also be used to stall you in the air. So let's say you uh, need to be in the air for an extended amount of time for some reason. You can actually use this skill to stay in the air like this. But mostly you'll be using it to uh, apply the debuff to do extra damage to enemies. Vortex Cross. This allows you to dash. Uh, left, right. You can even go upwards. Although I don't know if you can do that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can do that in second job. Uh, and the rest are passive. You get some mastery, some knockback resist, some HP. This class got severely buffed over the years. Like this, this used to be a meme class. And now it's actually just really good. Or it's been good for a while, but again, I haven't been making videos, so... Uh, let's move on to third job. I don't even know if I want to show second job training. Because <laughs> the only thing that really changes is you get uh, Starline 2. Which is longer range, but has pretty much the same attack speed as uh, Starline 1. And it's just... Yeah, it's very fast. Very, very good. Longer range. And, um, yeah. You won't really use Stellar Impact in second job, unless, I don't know, an Elite spawns or something and you want to kill it faster. And then Vortex isn't actually that powerful, it only does 100% damage, while your other skills are doing like 200 and so on. Well, actually, hold on, 100%? 100% 100 
they buffed this? I think it only used to... Okay, anyway. <laughs> I think it did like 70. But okay, you know what? Maybe you could use Dash. Maybe. I have not played Jet in a very long time. Uh, but yeah, moving on to third job. You get Starline 3. And if you couldn't guess, uh, it's basically... <laughs> it... I don't... So, okay. When I played Jet, I did not replace Starline 2. Because Starline 3 just... I don't know, feels slower. And it is slower. But it also has more range. If you don't hold a direction, you stay still. Or you stay in the same spot. But if you hold a direction, you actually dash with the skill. So it could be useful in very a uh, few maps. Um, ooh, let me put this somewhere. I'll put that here, I guess. Falling stars. Uh, I don't remember what this was used for. Let me see. Yeah, so you can't like stay in the air with it. I actually don't remember what this was. Um, hmm. I don't remember the use of this. But either way. Uh, does damage to enemies. Yeah, sure. Uh, turret deployment. This is your summon. They actually buffed it to do actual damage. Cosmic all people. I love this skill because it drags enemies that are behind you. Even if they're a little bit or very high above you, as long as they're behind you, you drag the enemies in front of you. Very good. But it has three second cooldown, so. Uh, spatial shift. So this is a passive. However, it buffs the um, the dash. So now you can do it twice in the air. Like that. Although if you want to go diagonal twice, you do have to delay the second press um, a little bit. Because if you press it rapidly, you end up getting a horizontal dash. Like that. So you have to delay it a little bit, like fall a little bit, before you try to dash upwards again. Or else again, you just get a horizontal dash. Even if you're holding up. Um, let's see, what else? Also, I think, um, the dash itself is a teleport as long as you do it diagonally. But if you do it horizontally, it's not a, like, an actual teleport. But horizontally, it actually is a teleport. So you can go through lotus lasers, you can go through pretty much anything. Because, again, teleport. Uh, other passives. Again, this class got severely buffed through its passives. Like, look at that, 20%... Final damage and 45% dex. What? <laughs> they didn't know what to do with the class, so they just threw numbers at it. That is, that is what this class became. But it's really good. Well, okay, I shouldn't say really good. It's better than it ever has been. And now they're removing it. Anywho. <laughs> so let me see this skill again. Hold on, hold on. Because you used to be able to hold that down and you'd, you would do like... You would stay in the air longer and stuff. I guess now it just throws you in the air or something. Alright. I, I, don't, I don't know what the use of this really is, so whatever. Someone in comments can probably tell me. Um, so yeah, let's show some uh, third job mobbing. Again, I don't like using this skill. So instead what I do is I stick to using Starline 2 or Starline 1. You can definitely, you know, train like a Kali and just dash through the enemies if you want to. It's not super strong, but uh, it can get the job done. And as for cosmic upheaval, let me actually go to a different map for that. I want to show you just how amazing this skill is. Or sorry, was, if you're watching this in the future. Alright, so first let me uh, get rid of this guy. Okay. So you see all these enemies like behind and above me, like you know on this pla on these platforms. If I put them behind me and use cosmic upheaval, look what happens. They get moved in front of you, and that is amazing. Anyway, this is a fourth trap skill I'm going to use. Ignore this. But yeah, it's really awesome. But it has a three second cooldown. Don't know why I'm explaining all this. The class is going to get. Okay, let me stop mentioning it. People are going to be super angry. Uh, so yeah, let's move on to fourth job. So in fourth job, you get an actual bossing skill. You get a Alex uh, a burst, I guess, kind of. I mean, yeah. <laughs> uh, and you get a mobbing skill. 
So hold on, let me make sure my buttons are in the right spots. So this goes here. Planet Buster, uh, that's over there. What did I? Oh, this used to be here. Okay. So in fourth time, we get Star Force Salvo. This is a rapid fire skill, basically a hurricane. You can use it in the air. You can jump with it. You can move around. It doesn't slow you down at all. Um, you can, again, like I said, use it in the air. I don't know if there's another Hurricane class that can start the Hurricane while airborne. I know that there's Bowmaster, you know, you can hold it down and then jump afterwards. Uh, but I don't know if there's a class that can, like, start theirs in the air. Anywho, yeah, it's a rapid fire. Your main bossing skill. And then we get, uh, Backup Beatdown, which is pretty much your burst now, because it activates a passive. Um... So yeah, ever since they added that, this became kind of like a burst. Oh, I guess I should use it. And you actually get a speed boost with it. You can jump with it. Uh, and yeah, it's just... It's good. They made it better. Because it used to be very bad. Um, but yeah, it has a 60 second cooldown though. And then there's Planet Buster. This is... So good. If you've ever played Buccaneer, this is basically better Hook Bomber. Has more range. I wouldn't say it does more damage. Probably does. Yeah, I think it does more damage. But either way, it definitely has more range. More uh, vertical range. Uh, maybe horizontal as well. But yeah, it's very strong. Also very fast. I'm just going to hold it down here. And I love the animation of just like punching a planet and having the planet debris explode. And just, ah, it's great. Here as well. Just clears up normal status and leaves you immune to abnormal status for three seconds. Starfall. Uh, they never actually made this skill amazing. <laughs> it has a 30 second cooldown and just does damage. Uh, so you basically just throw it into, uh, you know, whenever you're fighting mobs, just throw it. Yeah, it's basically an auto strike. Um, but without, like, the special effects. And then we have Maple Warrior, which just increases you and your party members' all stat. Strike Force Sal or sorry, that's the boss. Okay. Strike Force Showdown. This, oh boy, if they made if they buffed the skill any more, Jet would have been like one of the strongest classes in the game. So basically, what this is is during Star Force Salvo or Backup Beatdown, there's a 10% chance that you do 10 additional lines. See so you know how most classes have like final attack that does like maybe one extra line, maybe two extra lines. Yeah, Jet gets 10 lines. And it's on a rapid fire skill. So if you're lucky, it can activate like, <laughs> like very, very, very often. Like you can see there, I got like two procs of it uh, back to back, basically. So do that to a boss and uh, oh boy. All right. And then we have other passives. Again, they just threw a bunch of percents and numbers at this class and made it better. And, um, yeah. I guess that's it for fourth job. Um, yeah, I'll show some fourth job modding, why not? You just jump around, use uh, Planet Buster. Basically, you're mobbing. Um, of course, you can use Cosmic Upheaval just to bring enemies in front of you and then punch them. You don't really have to. Like, I guess it depends on the map you're turning in, but it's usually just faster to jump around using uh, Planet Buster. Alright. Moving on to Hypers. So for Hyper Passives, I'll, I'm not too sure, because I keep seeing different things being thrown out around. Uh, but I personally added backup beatdown extra strike so that when I'm doing burst, I get an extra line. Um, even though you really, yeah, anyway. Uh, and then I do planet buster extra damage because mobbing skill. Planet buster extra line because more damage. Um, star force salvo reinforce for extra damage. And salvo, uh, boss rush for extra damage against bosses. Now, the alternative... So I'm recording this afterwards. Uh, the alternative is to do damage to beat down and line to beat down, and then all three uh, salvo. However, that's only if you're like mainly bossing. 
otherwise do the hybrid build that I have, which is, you know, Planet Buster, uh, Salvo, and then one line to beat down. Moving on to active hypers. So, Bionic Resilience. Remember how I said that if they made the 10 lines proc more often, it would be kind of overpowered? Yeah, that's what this is. For 30 seconds, you have 10% more, or a 10% higher chance of activating the 10 extra lines. Meaning you have a 20% chance to activate those lines, and it is... It procs pretty often. <laughs> it is very, very good. But on top of that, you also get attack, you get status resist, and elemental resist. Which is, yeah, very good buff. Oh, I should mention that the cooldown is 180 seconds. It can also be added as an auto buff, but I feel, I, I don't know, like, why you would do that. Because you want to save it for your burst, I, I don't know. And then we have Singularity Shock, which you pretty much, if you're bossing, you want to use this every time it's off cooldown. Oh, I had actually forgotten to explain uh, another interesting thing about Singularity Shock, which is that it can animation cancel anything. So let's say you want to apply the debuff, but you're tired of being stuck in an animation. Uh, this is the animation just without me animation canceling. You can see I can't move for quite a bit. However, nope. Someone saw me use a skill and they're like, oh, my skill's better. <laughs> All right. Um, so here's what it looks like when I animation cancel it. I'm holding right. And the debuff will still apply. Just in case you want proof that it works, uh, that the debuff still applies even though you cancel the animation. Here you go. So you can see the debuff is still applied, even though I cancelled the animation so that I could move sooner. Back to the video. So I guess to explain it, it does 100% crit, or it always crits. It also does a lot of lines to one enemy, and it's just, you have this like, uh, awesome cut-in of your cat, or of jet. It's very good, very strong, and uh, yeah. And then you get Rising Cosmos, which just increases your damage by 10%. Well, I should also mention that Singularity Shock has a cooldown of 30 seconds. But yeah, it's really, really strong. Um, let's see if I can show you. So, who, here we go. Jeez! It's insanely strong. It's so strong. So yeah, use it whenever it's off cooldown, basically. Um, and yeah, now we can move on to fifth job. So in fifth job, um, I guess the first thing I'll show is the suborbital strike, which is probably my favorite skill that Jet has. Yes, I know the ship is better, but this skill is definitely one of my favorites. So if you press the skill once, you get some mobbing robots. That is loud. You get mobbing robots and they just go around clearing mobs um you know there's like four of them or five of them but if you press the skill again you get a bossing robot and it only attacks like a few enemies in a sink in like a area but it's just it's nice it is strong and then once the boss is dead you can switch back to uh the mobbing mode and clear you know clear mobs more easily The next, uh, oops, the next fifth job skill I want to mention is Gravity Crush. So I'll go ahead and use it. So it'll do damage for a short while to enemies that are near it. Again, you'll most likely be using it for bossing. And then after some time, it'll explode, dealing a lot of damage. And then we have Allied Fury. This skill has a very short cooldown of only 10 seconds. Or, sorry, 7 seconds. And it'll first slash enemies uh, by, you know, calling up some allies. And if the enemies end up surviving the initial slashes, it'll actually send out a ship to finish off the enemies. I say finish off, but it just does extra damage. I'll uh, show an example of that. 
All right, so of course I'm not going to be able to one-shot, so I use it. It's the enemy, and then the enemy gets marked, and the marked enemy will actually get hit by the, uh, the ship's laser. So there's the guy slashing, leaves a mark, and then a ship comes by and does an extra zap. And again, very short cooldown. Um, when I see jets bossing, they actually don't use this skill very often. But when I did a battle analysis, even though the skill's only level 1, um, it seemed that it was actually good to use it every time it was off cooldown. Any jet mains can definitely let me know if uh, that is the proper way to use it. Like, if you should use it every time it's off cooldown, along with uh, Singularity. But anywho, yeah, it just does damage. <laughs> and now for the big... Oh, this skill. Anti-Gravity Cycle SFF X Summon. So this skill... If you know what a bot is, if you play in Reboot, you probably don't. But it basically gives you a shield on your HP bar. It, like, doubles your HP, basically. Um, And you could use... Geez, this 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 skill cheats because there's some bosses that c just can't hit you while you're using it but um here i'll go ahead and use it in here so once you press it you board a ship and you can see now my hp is way higher than it was i can use rapid fire i can use planet buster um i can use singularity shock you could pretty much use almost all of your skills you could even use backup beatdown and again, because you can fly, uh, you can be out of the range of the enemy attacks. So, like, let's say a boss was down here. Oh, also, if you press it again, you get a laser. Um, you can actually attack the enemy from out of their range and just get free damage. But uh, the laser that I showed just then, I'll try to show it again once the cooldown is back. Or once it's off cooldown. But um, if you press the skill once, you mount it. You, you know, go into the ship. If you press the skill again, uh, you fire a laser. And that laser is pretty strong, I think. Um, so yeah, that is the uh, fifth job skills. Alright, so I'm just going to go over boost nodes. So if you want to separate them between mobbing and bossing, um, I guess it would go Star Force Salvo, Singularity Shock, and Backup Beatdown. And then for the mobbing part, you would do... Planet Buster, uh, Falling Star for the turret uh, buffing, and Stellar Impact. Although alternatively to Stellar Impact, you could also use Vortex instead. And yeah, that's Jet. Um, I guess I can show some bossing. I already showed enough training. I feel like uh, now it's time to show some bossing. Ah, I'm going to miss this class. Even though I, I, I had a grudge against this class for delaying the mutiny update, and also... This skill wasn't always called Stellar Impact. It used to be called Static Thumper. Guess who has the name Static Thumper now? Yeah, it's Buccaneer, my main class. And Buccaneer's Static Thumper used to be called Shockwave. But for some reason, because Jet and Buck shared the same skill, they then ch changed Buck's name to Static Thumper. But then Jet got rid of the name Static Thumper and moved on to Stellar Impact and Buck never got changed back to Shockwave, and it still bothers me to this day. But, um, yeah, they also delayed the mutiny update. <laughs> Why am I still talking? Let me let me go, boss. Um, let's speed up. No, let's do Zakum. We'll do Chaos Zakum. Even though I don't think I'm ready for that on this character, I'm, let's do it anyway. This is actually going a lot better than I thought. <laughs> Alright, let me, uh, put that right there. Oh, that sucks. Alright, let's do a boss that I can actually beat. Alright, now to hopefully showcase the bossing. Because uh, I tried to before and it did not go well. Alright, uh, let's do easy mode because again this character is not very strong. I'm not using Link skills and my Legion is set for strength right now. Uh, I guess I could change it to no, no. It's okay. Alright, so we're just gonna... Just put this down. Hit it with this. Activate this. Boom. Uh, hit this twice. 
What else do I need to do? This. Oh, I can't use that while... Oh. Okay. Anyway. Oh, I didn't use... I didn't use the uh, burst buff. There we go. got away. Oh my goodness. I swear every time I'm about to use backup beat them. Just call me worthless. <laughs> Beaten by such a worthless foe. Anywho. I'm not great at bossing with this class, and neither will you when this class gets removed, so... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I need to stop. I'm going to get so much hate for this. Okay. Sorry. I'm sorry. We're done. Um... No, I'm going to try one more boss. I'm going to try to redeem myself by actually... Hold on, hold on. I'm going to actually switch these two buttons. Because I that I keep messing that up. So now let's do... Mm -hmm. I'm going to hopefully properly burst something this time. There's no way, right? Four K stat. What do I think I can handle? Uh, I'll probably do hard mode, but it's gonna take a while. I'm gonna, I guess, do normal. That might take. Mm -hmm. I don't really know how to gauge my my jets damage. I don't know how strong this character actually is right now, especially because I'm not using link skills. And maybe one of the shoulders.
think normal's gonna be too easy. I feel like normal might be too easy. Maybe I should have done hard. Oops. Alright, let's do this. Let me see, how much damage am I doing? Woo! Oh, good thing I didn't buff. Yeah, it's gonna be too easy. Oh well. Oops. if this bomb will kill me. I guess not. Nope, oh, and there I go. So, yeah, I wish I had a bit more practice, but there you go, there's Jet. Or, I should say there was Jet. I need to stop. I need to just... You know what, before this class gets... Mm -hmm. Um, looks like I can get 20. Mm. I mean, it's not like the character is getting deleted, it's just the class itself is getting deleted, so I can, like, just change jobs. Don't know what I'm going to change mine to yet, because I already have every other class. So what do I want a double of is a question, I guess. Mm. Anyway. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you in my next... I, I was going to do my stream outro. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope to see you in my next one. And, uh... Yeah. Sad to see the class go. Hopefully no other classes uh, follow suit. And we get to keep every other class. You know what I actually would have liked? Or, sorry. What I would have preferred is... If they kept Jet in the game, but just didn't update it. Like, if there was a choice between, hey, keep the class in the game, but it stays the way it, you know, the way it is currently forever, or delete the class, I would choose keep the class, but just don't update it. Of course, I would love if they updated the class, um, but yeah, it is what it is, I guess. Once again, thank you. Until next time.